Um, well, I well, well let's I, I will uh, for, so for the for the sake of record and so the public now. Um, I will go ahead and respond to the um, uh, how we get this point. Uh, so in two, in 2019, um, I proposed the creation of two new committees. Committee number one was uh, committee number one was a diversity Council, and inclusion. Council Member Galvena, a point of order has been raised, so please refrain from speaking while I address the point of order. Thank you, Council Member Fernald. Your point? If my, yes, if my memory serves me correctly, we went through this whole thing, the last council meeting, asking for the clarification on those uh, two CFRs, and evidently nothing ever came through. So I, I don't know why we need to hear it again right now when we're voting on something specific. So that's my point. Okay, um, so um, that, that point is well taken. Thank you. Council Member Gobena, we've already discussed your two CRFs well, at our I last council yet. study I session. Council Member Era, secretly here. I have not even spoken my point. So, Council um, Member Gobena, a point of order for, was for raised. Of, for, for the sake of respecting this um, chamber, let me speak. You can't tell me what I have to say. And I think oh. we have an internet here. So, Council this is Member, my time. Council Member Gobena, I uh, Council. A Ended. point of order has been raised and you are instructed to stop. Any of us would stop talking. I acknowledge the point of order. Council member Fernald, council member, I'm not about asking about you to respond at this time. Children, the youth here are serious. And if you don't want to hear that, and they council watch. Council member Gobena, this is not germane to the topic at well, hand. Why do we have to do why, this every you as a mayor, instead of guiding the meeting, um, I'm trying to, to guide the meeting. meeting. I'm yes. answering a point of order. This is, you, this is what you're creating at the city hall and welcoming environment mm -hmm. for community of color, immigrants, and refugees, and children and youth. And this is exactly what this committee, what this council. Okay, Council Member Gobena, you've been muted. Please stop talking. The point is well taken. We are here to discuss. The matter on the table. There is a motion on agenda bill five five zero eight. I'm going to go ahead and continue. And this I is not to... your time to speak. When I have stopped you, every council member, council member, well, or, excuse this, me, deputy mayor, go recorded. ahead. This, this got to be recorded. I know it's recorded. Go well, ahead, people, council. You know that... Go ahead, deputy mayor. Go ahead, speak. And the city. Deputy Mayor Kwan, you have the floor. Receive an inclusion. Yeah. Well, I and Point of order. I and Ruth as to I'm having conversation. Go oh, ahead, Council Member Hill. Um, it seems like we cannot continue conducting we this can, design. We, Could we take a recess? Please, maybe job be here. I would be happy or, to. I would be happy to call a recess. So please, let's recess for five minutes. minutes. Let everybody, we're going to go ahead and just stand. We're going to stand at ease. We're going to take a recess for five minutes. We're recessing for five minutes. Well, if that's what. Being our meeting after a brief recess. Um, at this point, I have the floor and I just want to make an explanation and a clarification. Two CRFs were, or I should say CIRs back in the day, which are council information requests, were submitted by Council Member Gobena when he was first seated as a council member. They were um, very thin in terms of information to guide the staff on what exactly he wanted with his two committee suggestions. Christina Gregg, our city clerk, and I both reached out to Council Member Gobena on numerous occasions over the last year and a half, making requests for additional information. 
the item was taken up or attempted to be taken up several times at ANF over the last year and a half. We were not able to take up the items because there was no information forthcoming. At our previous council study session, we discussed Council Member Govena's council information requests regarding two new committees. He did not provide the council with any additional information and in fact suggested that the staff be able Mayor, to create- Mayor, here. Rural Mayor. I have the floor. I will continue speaking. You may speak when I'm done. The council with a vote of six to one rejected the two CIRs to take them off of our work list because no information was given to us to possibly be able to advise the staff on what we were looking for. We asked at the time that council member Govana resubmit a council information request or a council request form answering the five questions that were put forth by our city clerk in order to create an agenda bill that we could work with. That has not occurred. In the meantime, we are also trying to clear two CIRs from that back in the, at that time, one of which was from council member Fernald regarding adding diversity language and youth language into our committee language. We are also looking at sunsetting the airport committee. Those are the two items that are being taken up right now. Those are the items that we are voting on. So with that, I am going to continue to go around the room on these items only. Deputy Mayor Kwan, you have the floor to ask any may questions I, I or give any comments. What is, what is your point? Uh, you, I had a uh, table, I had a, uh, conversation where you went or recess uh, to create a fake story and come back tell for the public here. So I have to finish my point. This is we 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 better serve our people. Our people deserve better than this drama. This is shameful. This is outrageous. Council member you, Toombs. You treat a, a, a community of color, a black person point of order. Council Member Toombs, go ahead and make your point in the middle of Council Member Gobena's endless point. The point of order made by our troll, Council Member Gobena, is not um, a, anybody an appropriate point of order. It's a dialogue. Indeed, it is. Council Member Gobena, I'm not going to recognize your point of order. Your point of order is it's not a point of order. You're you're creating a filibuster. So I'm going to go ahead and. Council member, Deputy Mayor Kwan, do you have anything to say or are you ready to vote on this item? Yeah, uh, it seems I, some of us need to take the yeah, training the on Robert's Rules of Order should, to understand how these meetings need to be conducted so rule. that we know the rules that we all yeah, adhere to to have a successful meeting. So with that, uh, I am happy to support the uh, proposed changes in the committee structure and the airport advisory committee, chair. I would just like to comment is um, a lot of the work is redundant because it is already repeated in Highline Forum and the Start Committee and Skate 4 and the Hotel Motel uh, tax advisory committee and the JAC, and so I do recall yeah, that it was uh, uh, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Out of a lot of the uh, proposed work. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that makes sense as well. So uh, that's my comment, and I'm happy to support this. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, Councilor uh, Hill, go ahead. If this is speaking completely to the topic, sure. at, and I agree that the new content uh, inserted uh, is appropriate and that the airport committee um, is justified for removal. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Council member Fernald. Yeah, I wasn't at the ANF meeting where this was discussed. And so if I may, I, I just wanna give a little bit of insight as to what, um, what caused me to make this comment, my my CFR or CRI or whatever it was at the time, was that um, when I read when I read the other uh, CIRs, my first reaction was or not my reaction, but from that I had from National Coalition Building, which I 
is that this was stove piping. You don't want to something we've tried very hard to get away. To... And so I thought, well, Point order, please. Have... I'm Point sorry. Order. Oh. Oh, um, Council Member Hill, go oh, ahead. Really? I, I'm sorry, it's not a point of order to Pam, but it, 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 there's so much distraction, it's hard to hear what Council Member Fonald is saying. We have Council Member speak on their time. You should not be selected. Council Member Gobana, stop talking. Your time yes. is up. No, no, stop talking. Hey, I am the chair of this meeting. You need to stop talking and let your other Council Members speak. You've had your time. Hey, you on the meeting because you don't want to meet you. Okay, so Robert's Rules of Orders allows us to remove a disruptive council member from a meeting with the majority of the council members in attendance. Do I, I make a motion you, to remove you know council to member Govena from this meeting to now. Do I have a second? We can't pretend to that. Okay. when you don't have- Do I have a consensus of the council to remove council member Govena from the meeting? All right, I have a counts. I have a consensus. Council Member Gobena, I am dismissing you from the meeting. Thank you because for your you service. For the the inclusion. Go. Okay. okay. So I'll just um, let's get back to the to our work here. 